So as we had discussed in the previous lecture that the naive adaptive histogram equalization and the clay operator differ in only one additional step in the clay operator and that is the histogram clipping step. So in this lecture we will discuss what this clipping step is and that would cover the discussion for the clay operator. So in clay operator we clip the histograms in each of the grids in each of the tiles uh, in which we divide our image so in each of the uh, in each of the grids we clip the histograms uh, via some user supplied threshold tau so what does it mean so consider this histogram as an example so on the x axis We have the pixel intensity values V starting from 0 all the way up to perhaps 255 or 1 in case we are using the normalized values and on the y axis we have H of V which is a histogram the unnormalized the regular histogram values for the uh, for the intensities so assume our histogram looks something like this we're just roughly drawing a histogram So as you can see that this peak is much higher than any other peak and assume that we have a user specified threshold tau set to this value. User defined clip limit. or perhaps just threshold. So we like to call it threshold in the literature if you read clay operated they would call it clip limit. So now uh, we would clip the histogram. So any uh, any for any pixel uh, for any gray level value V. So let's suppose this is V1. And the final gray level value is V2. So for all intensity values between V1 and V2, we will kill this additional peak of the histogram and we'll get a resultant histogram that would look something like this. Once we kill the peaks, So again, uh, this is what 255, this is again V axis, this is 0, this is H of V clipped. And again, I'll just like draw this roughly. approximately I'm just drawing this approximately again uh, this is our threshold
tau. This is V1. V2. I'll just correct this part again. Sorry. So here we would have histogram clipped at this value. So for all the other regions, the histogram will look exactly identical to the earlier histogram. I may not be able to draw it exactly, but between V1 and V2, the histogram would be clipped to the value tau, where tau is our user defined threshold. So now, uh, if we clip the histogram, uh, then obviously, if we uh, sum for all values v, h of v, then we, we wouldn't be getting the same number of pixels that suppose the total number of pixels in the histogram is n. That is, it is formed using total of n number of pixels. Now, if we sum this clipped histogram, then the summation won't be equal to n. And let's suppose the number of pixels as a result of clipping uh, th that are removed are, let's suppose, a small m. So the next step is to redistribute the clipped histogram to all the other intensity values. So now these m pixels which were clipped in this region would be redistributed to all the other intensity values. So the height of the histogram in all the other regions will increase. And we distribute these uh, m clip pixels uniformly among all the other bins. So for example, uh, this is our intensity value 1, intensity value 2, so on up to intensity value v1. Then we have this intensity value. So we can call them bins. So each of these bins are going to get these m pixels uniformly. So once we redistribute uh, these pixels, all the other bins in the histogram are going to uh, get increased. So let's suppose uh, this is started from very close to zero. So this would be starting somewhere from here. So this is the redistribution of the pixels. in all the other intensity ranges. Two, five, five, and we have zero. So this is the redistribution of the pixels. just drawing it more correctly. So this is again V1, this is V2, and this is our user defined threshold tau. 
so after uh, after the redistribution maybe some other uh, regions uh, will also be uh, clipped at tau because the re if, if the redistribution of pixels increases the value of any bin beyond the user defined threshold then we redistribute only enough number of pixels to a particular bin so that the th so that the uh, histogram value doesn't exceed the user supply threshold so to see this consider a numerical example 